Welcome to Mini Everything, my name is John. Today I'm going to do a quick little uh, show off of what I carry with me every day for my job in this Milwaukee Pack-Up backpack. So, um, I'm trying to figure out the camera angle that would be good for this. Um, I don't know how this is, you guys, if you can give me feedback, I'd appreciate it. Um, so, let's start with what's on the outside. So, 25 foot Stanley Fat Max tape measure. And right here, I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, you can. This is a WIA magnetizer and demagnetizer and a little Stabila level. Carry this in one of the drink pockets on the side. This is a Adventure Medical Kits um, little waterproof first aid kit. Very handy to have. Um, doesn't have enough band-aids in it. So I would add some of your own, or just carry a box on the other side or something. Okay, let's start with the more boring stuff. So, I carry, oh, come out. This one doesn't want to come out. So I carry these Craftsman, um, Craftsman picks with me. And there's one that doesn't really want to come out right now. Okay, we'll leave that. I carry a scratch all with me. Klein Tools non-contact voltage tester. Um, I like this one because it does the low voltage too. In blue. Um, little headlamp, always handy. Always have at least one pair of gloves with me. These are just regular Milwaukee gloves. Um, this is a spatula for um, 3M Venture Tape, which is the tin tape for ductwork. These things are, I just find so many uses for them. Uh, Blue Monster Tape, Teflon Tape, a little KN95, a respirator type thing, a couple of earplugs, and a, I always carry a pipe reamer with me. This is just one of the cheap ones. Nothing fancy about it. So... Milwaukee reaming pen, Klein Tools GFCI tester, and always going to have a good marker, at least one. Um, carry this with me too. This is just a little voltage tester, um, has the probes in the back. I like to kind of check with this and verify with both, you know what I mean? Just because I, I like to double check things. Um, I carry wire nuts in here. I'm not going to grab all those out. But wire nuts, some Wagos. Um, I carry some carpenters, carpenter's pencils, another marker, and a carpenter's pencil sharpener. You just get a better, you get a better point with them whenever you use a sharpener, I think. I, you can use a knife and all that. I mean, that's what they're made for, but I don't, know, I don't, really, I don't really like them that much. All right, I'm gonna pack all that stuff back up and we'll get into the tool section. All right, so let's start with the tools. Okay, let's start with basics. A couple of Milwaukee demo Phillips and a flathead screwdriver. I like those a lot. They're really nice. Um, let's wait on that. So let's get all the screwdrivers and bit drivers out of the way. Again, we have my Lennox 6-in-1, PB Swiss, Insider, Long. This is a long one. I like this thing. Um, this is a just PB Swiss, um, Swiss grip. Um, sorry, I'm losing my train of thought here. PB Swiss, Swiss grip, bit driver. I like this thing too. I really do wish, I've said this in the past, I really do wish they made this handle and put it on here. This thing would be fantastic if they did. Better than it is. And more of the silly little things. I There's a lot of junk in here too. I haven't cleaned it out in a while. I should. This will make me do it. All right. Klein Tools ratcheting. Um, Multi-tool. Stubby. Rigid pipe cutter. A Craftsman hammer. 
pair of Wiss straight cuts, tin snips. Um, you can always find uses for them. Not just duck, duck metal. Um, Klein tools. Um, I'm losing my train of thought here. Klein tools. Lineman pliers. These things are nice. They've gotten... The more and more I work with them, the looser they get. They're, they're fantastic now. They have the nice serrations up top, which are kind of... Kind of worn down now a little bit, but and they have a crimper on them. A couple a set of each of these guys, both craftsmen, standard and uh, millimeter. I always carry a uh, little half inch wire brush with me. This is a PB Swiss. Uh, bit case with all their bit blocks in it. I have quite a few bits in here now. It's not totally full, but I have a few in there. All right, a Husky pipe wrench. This is a 14 inch. This thing's actually surprisingly good. Um, very, very loose. Um, it's aluminum. This is like $24 at, uh, at Home Depot, and they have a lifetime warranty. Or a forever guarantee or whatever. The thing is, I like this thing. I use rigid ones at work all the time too, and there's not much difference, I don't think. Maybe there is when you get to, if you've used it for years and years, but. A little Craftsman magnetic level. Ooh, I forgot something. There you are. This is the Klein Tools. Um. Precision screwdriver. This thing's kind of cool. It has two different sides to it, and it one of the sides can extend. Just that right there. So this side it'll go all the way down in, and the bits are reversible. Phillips and flathead both on each side, and this little guy can push up, and that way you can slide into your pocket easier, and I'll have it jab you. Another sharpie, orange one that time. Speed square. Not much needs to be said. Drill bits. I just bought this recently actually. I needed more. Just standard drill bit kit. Nothing special. And some faucet grease, silicone grease, a little DeWalt bit kit, uh, another little thermostat screwdriver. And I do carry this with me now. This is that Philo ratchet. I've had it in my bag for however two weeks maybe. I haven't used it yet, but I like it. <laughs> um, I'll use it eventually when I get into a tight spot. A whole bunch of assorted bits and assorted tools. I'll get them. I'm not going to get all of them out, but you understand. I feel like everyone has this kind of that kind of. Uh, you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. You don't, but you know what I'm saying. Nipix Cobras, I carry two of the 10 inch with me at all times. Love these things. One of them's the, uh, the, uh, what's it called? Quick set version. And you can just ratchet it up to wherever you need it. And then it's locked whenever you pull it down. And this is the regular one. And again, I have these little Knipix. Water pump pliers, these are just a flat jaw. Um, I've used these a couple times. Not as much as their price tag dictates, but enough. Um, these things are one of the best tools, probably the best tool I've ever bought. I love these guys, use both all the time. These are the 150s, these are the 250s. And just so you guys know, these are the 10 inch Cobras, right? And these are the 10 inch water pump pliers. So they're pretty level right now. Um, one is a little bit longer. The pliers are just a little bit longer. Just so you know. Um, I carry these. I don't know why. I should take them out of my bag probably. I mean, these are kind of what, like, if people ask for a pair of pumps, and these are what I give them. 
I don't normally give out my Knipex to people, but, you know, whatever. And these are a pair of channel lock dykes, or side cutters. I don't know if we're allowed to say that word anymore. Um, and let's wrap through them all real quick. So, these things, the Knipex wire strippers, awesome. These things, Kinepix Vice Grips. Haven't used these yet either for anything. But uh, when you need a pair, you need a pair, so. These Twin Grips, these things are fantastic. Oh, sorry, I had them out of the camera there. Again, another one of the best tools I bought. Um, I was actually working on a, uh, um, I was trying to take off a LB cover. Like I said, I was trying to take off an LB cover and um, it was kind of like out back, up really high in like a utilities room. And uh, I couldn't get a screwdriver in there at all. I couldn't get, um, if I had like a, if I had a, what's it called? One of those drill extensions, the 90 drill extensions, I probably could have got there. But these I was able to fit in kind of um, straight and kind of get it and turn it enough so I could get it off by hand. Good tool. These things, again, still sticky. I've worked them a lot. I'm not happy about it, but it's all right. Um, these are the Knipex 2502160s. If I put it in front of the camera, you can see. Nice job. Okay. These things. These things are pretty loose now. Um, these are the 3811200s. I like these better than these. Um, different applications for both, but these things are really slim. And you can get into a lot of places with them. Uh, and they're really smooth, like you can see now. Which is awesome. So, that is, if I'm not mistaken, everything in here. Um, probably a couple other odds and ends in this little pouch. In this pouch. But, um, for the bag itself, it's not a bad bag. It's, it gets heavy quick, though. The base, like, just this bag right now, is probably 15, 20 pounds. With all that stuff not in there um holds everything all right i don't really like these pockets that much because they kind of just i put my uh i put these guys in them and they kind of just almost fall out and, but it's not a bad bag and if you have pack out stuff it can it can sit on there that's kind of its main you know selling point but in case you're wondering there's everything that I keep in there. Um, and I appreciate you watching. Let me know if you have this bag, your experiences with it, or if you have any questions. All right, bye. And just to show you, this is it fully loaded again. Um, there's still a lot of space, as you can see, but I wouldn't put much more in here because it's going to be heavy. Um, the only time I would put anything more in here is if you were actually pulling it on the pack out and you had the... Uh, and you have the wheels and stuff and I will say the zippers aren't great on it. They kind of like bow right there. So it kind of makes it hard sometimes. But overall, good bag. Um if you're wondering what this is, this is the abbreviations for my company. I just put that on there so people are less likely to steal it. Um but good bag overall. Thanks for watching again. Bye.